Okay, so I guess this time around for this project, we uh, we're actually going to do some video. So this is the start of my LS Ranger build. So this motor should be familiar, at least, you know, if you watch the boss, this motor, I mean, you might not remember it, but this here nice little 5.3 liter truck motor was kindly gifted to me by the boss garage um it was quite a ways back now over the summer i think about july uh the boss went down to virginia or carolina somewhere i don't remember exactly where but picked up a truck because it was clean body got it for the the body in the bed was looking for somewhere to take the truck apart and in turn you get the rolling chassis so uh had my friends there offer up his shop and then we got left with this 5.3 in the rolling chassis uh pulled the motor out i think we sold the uh frame I kept some of the stuff out of it. Really, the only thing I kept was the motor. Harness got chopped up. Uh, some other stuff. And took the transmission and the drive shafts. Um, really kept the drive shaft. Sold the, sold the transmission because it was 4L60 garbage. Can't have that around here, especially for the power this thing's going to wind up making. So it's been all over the summer. I've been dealing with other projects. We're finally getting around to this. Once my car's finished, the Ranger is next on the chopping block for the swap. And the hope is that that project can uh, be a done and knocked out thing within a couple weeks. But have to get my car back to a drivable point first where I can daily that while this thing's getting work done. So in the meantime, since it's still, you know, kind of winter here on off, I don't know what's going on with it. Weird. But my downtime here, since I've got all my other projects done, uh, I'm going to start messing with the motor, getting the motor ready. I've already started collecting parts for this. So we'll hopefully be to a point where this swap can get done relatively quickly. Uh, you know, as the LT back there, this thing has been on the channel in a while. Might cut this out of the video, but I don't know. Uh, some new additions. Currently a placeholder for LS parts. But, oh, uh, what's new with this guy? I will leave that there. So basically, AC Racing started making grab bars again. I grabbed one of those. These are thick wall aluminum tube ones, real nice. Very happy with that. That's heavy duty, looks great on there. Other thing, Dynaport pipe. This is a Dynaport Racing big volume LT250R pipe. Uh, the motor I rebuilt over the winter here about a month ago did some other stuff threw a new radiator in it radiator in it because i blew the last one up uh you know not too much else has happened with this thing it just kind of is what it is it runs it's got basically breaking hours on it right now i haven't even jetted it yet it's just been sitting waiting waiting until riding season uh, the Beater KX, this is basically my extra vehicle, so I don't hurt the LT too much, I guess. That's pretty much this thing's primary role. Uh, I don't know, this was kind of like a fun little side project I worked on with my brother. Uh, let's see, I think it's a 1989 kx80 frame uh i cobbled on some new age plastics off of kx85 100 on the front there so that looks 
you know, looks a little, looks a little more modern. And the rear fender is, you know, it's on there. It's okay. Uh, the forks are actually off of a 03 KX85 inverted cartridge. You know, everything kind of just bolted up on there. Needed to switch out the triple tree and some garbage like that. But then the nice thing about this is, you can't see on this side, but we'll go over to this side here. That's right, that's a power valve. Power valve KX100 motor instead of the 80. So, been riding this thing around a little bit, getting used to it, feeling it out. But, this thing is a fast, fast thing for a little bike. This is, it, it's scary how fast that thing is for just a, you know, a 100cc motor. But, that's just like my little beat on around the yard kind of thing. Take out every now and then. But, that's that. Back to the LS stuff. So, as you can see, I've got my 5.3 here from the boss. This motor's got 270,000 miles on it. Running, driving, one pulled, so I'm not really worried about it. I just got it in the garage tonight, started stripping stuff down. She's pretty dirty, but there is some stuff I'll have to change on it. More or less just in the tear down, fit up, see what's going to work kind of stage, what I got to change. Uh, stainless steel. These are, of course, eBay. These are listed on eBay as the up and forward turbo headers. So stainless T304, uh, you know, 3-inch V-band, 3-inch collector. I think these are one and three quarter primaries something ish along that line but i'm gonna have to re-weld some of these uh this is gonna get cut shorter move the flange back just to give me a little more room to run 90s off of the the v-band uh little stuff like that nice thing about these 87 dollars shipped this guy sitting right here GT45, you know, cheap turbo, I paid $185 for this turbo, you know, as fresh eBay, fresh, fresh eBay, you know, see, all brand new, very nice, very happy with that turbo, uh, for what they are, how cheap they are, they work, they're re reliable, you know, nobody really ever has issues with these. And for the, these GT45s, these come actually with a divided exhaust housing. So, move on to the next thing here. This is the box it came in. I've got some miscellaneous stuff. I got some heat tape. Uh, this is header wrap. Another eBay kit. I think the tape is like 15 bucks. Uh, that heat wrap. We got 50 feet of 2 inch. With all the nice stainless steel cable ties. I think that kit's like 20 something bucks. 25. Uh, bolts for the headers. Gaskets. Uh, these are basically garbage. Don't need those. Won't be using those. But here, so this is the divided flange. So when I make my actual header to go onto the turbo, I am going to take advantage of the divided exhaust housing so we can get super fast spool times on this thing. But so I'm getting all ready to do that. Having this divided housing is going to be real nice. You know, super fast spool times. You know, not much to worry about there. It'll be nice setup. Then, this GT45 kit that I bought comes with all the gaskets. Alright, so I guess finish off this video now. This phone died last night, but this is the GT45 turbo kit I got here. 
eBay. So this came with my steel gasket for the turbo, divided flange. Got all of the fittings and everything, distribution block, feed, drain, feed with restrictor, uh, a bung for the, the oil pan here, some China AN lines, and came with this here feed line, you know, pretty good length. This is definitely gonna be enough to get where I need to go. And this whole drain line right here, nice steel braided. You know, you can cut the size, whatever you need. This should definitely be long enough too. So I'll be able to just dump it right into the front of the pan, up nice and high. Since the turbo is going to be up front in the Ranger, but that would be about it as far as parts go. Uh, I guess you can throw in some other info too. So for this build, plan is we're doing HP tuners along with, I'm going to try and see if I can grab a Trailblazer SS intake manifold since that uh, takes care of the, uh, you know, toasty number seven issue that these motors have with the truck intakes, but, uh, oh, and I have a, uh, my dad's friend gave me a few free parts too with this like i got some new timing chain uh gave me a 102 mil throttle body that i'm going to wind up using on this um you know he gave me a few sets of injectors you know flex i got the flex fuel fuel rails too so the all uh stainless steel ones which is nice i got a set of flex injectors which I'm going to decap, run on this, so I'll have more than enough fuel and plenty capacity to go E85. Uh, we're going to do a wall barrel 450 on this. Um, you know, just dropping in the factory tank, and I don't know whether or not yet yeah, I'm going to have to run bigger fuel lines. I'm pretty sure they're going to be big enough, as is. To support the power that I'm making. Because, you know, we're not going crazy or nothing. You know, we're just going to try and do... My my goal is to be at least 450. 450 is the number that I want out of this. Uh, 500 to 600 would be fantastic if we can put down those numbers. But for an all-wheel drive truck... Well, not all-wheel drive. We're going to be doing four-wheel drive. Because I, you know, four-wheel drive truck, I'm do the four-wheel drive 4L, 4L80 and hook everything up. I have the drive shafts. You know, we're going to do some drive shaft to conversion U-joints to go to the Dana 35 in the front. Some other little stuff. We'll cross that road when we get there. We've got a lot of other stuff to buy. Um, I have got to buy exhaust tubing. I am about to go buy everything off ebay for my entire charge system so intercooler piping uh you know because i'm doing three inch i gotta get some adapters to go to that 102 mil throttle body because that guy is uh four and a quarter od and i've got to taper that thing down and there, there's just a few things that are going to be interesting to do but we're going to be able to make it work so lots of stuff to do here it's going to be a Decent project, lots of parts to order. Um, I think I'm gonna finish working on my whole spreadsheet because I gotta do that. Everything's in notes right now. Uh, how much this is gonna cost? Because I've been looking at a lot of stuff to put into this. I'm trying to keep it on a budget, plan out ahead of time to only spend money on certain things. Instead of burying myself in a hole, you know, it's, oh, this could be nice, so I buy one of these, and then, you know, add on here and there all these little pieces. Um, one of the honest, uh, well, one of the extra things I think I might buy for this, really considering, since I want to do a lot of towing with this truck at the power and torque level it is, is doing methanol injection, but 
And we'll see how cheap I can get a kit for that. Possibly buy a used one. I don't know. And then the other thing too is that this motor with this accessory drive will fit in the Ranger. Now, I'm going to be cutting it real close to the radiator with all this stuff. And I don't want it to get super annoying because you can get the other accessory drives that pull everything in, you know, a good inch and a half, two inches. So that may be something I'm looking into because I'm pretty sure that relocates my alternator down to the bottom on this side, which would be nice. I've got to get a van power steering pump, I think. Uh, I can cobble this one to make it work because now the cap is going to be buried under the headers. But, you know, I could run a couple lines up to an external reservoir somewhere else. But the van power steering pump may be a better solution. Don't know. I got to look more into stuff, see where everything gets moved around. Uh, but we'll get there. You know, lots of parts to order, trying to keep it on a budget. You know, we'll see how far we get. Uh, done date by this project for me is going to be a little bit ahead of time. Everybody else, because I'm shooting to have this knocked out in a couple weeks, about mid-May. So, see how far we get. Trying to get a lot of this motor stuff done ahead of time, so I don't have to worry about it later down the road. So we'll have everything, you know, pretty much drop in. But, yeah, lots of stuff on this to come in the future. Uh, trying to actually do videos on it. But I think I got the time to actually do videos on this thing, you know, as we get going. Because I'm not going to be super rushed as I'm doing stuff. So I got time to, to do video. Unlike that thing where everything that's been done to it is kind of like a last minute or... I just didn't feel like doing videos. Same thing with the dirt bike. But, yeah. Trusty LS. You're going to power the Ranger soon. And I will add on here, too. You know, thank you for everybody uh, watching. Uh, ever since we got monetized on the channel now, it's been a big help. Because we actually used our, uh, our money for our first project purchase the uh the other week where we got that blaster and the suzuki bandit motor so you know lots of big things coming in the future we're hoping to get that drag four-wheeler all done up uh, i think we just ordered the computer for it today so that's a big step in the right direction um you know we got a couple other things to order we gotta make a wire harness we gotta modify the frame and such but yeah big things coming on the channel there's gonna be a lot happening coming up so you know everybody like the videos because it really helps us out you know everybody watching you know you guys are uh contributing to helping us do all of the fun crazy stuff that we do and uh you know because this is just our fun stuff on the side that we do because i know everybody else goes to goes to school and works i'm working full time right now so you know i get pretty beat up during the week working all week not that i do anything particularly difficult but it takes a lot you know it's a lot of time and uh we're hoping to get these projects done get through the winter slump get some fun stuff going we got the the motor home coming up uh, Travis's Ranger, AJ's Formula there, we got that to the Blaster Bandit Project, you know, whatever we're going to call that thing now, the uh, Blast It, I, I don't know, it was lots of stuff, so thanks for watching guys, you know, we'll catch up in the future video when I get some more stuff done to this guy, you know, I gotta get a cam ordered, all my stuff.